Controversy Corner. Controversy Corner is a section of Logosophia magazine where people of different faith traditions discuss controversial topics in a succinct manner. If you would like to submit a topic for discussion, please let us know. Don't see your denomination represented? Help us fix that. We're always looking for new writers. Disagree with a representative of your denomination? Write in and tell us why in a respectful manner, and we'll publish it in our next magazine under Letters to the Editor. For these and any other questions, comments, or suggestions, email us at editors.logosophia at gmail.com. Controversy Corner What do you believe about Jesus' mother, Mary? Confessional Lutheran, represented by Jordan Christensen, read by Sarah Levesque. Lutherans believe that Mary is rightly called the Theotokos, Greek for God-bearer, and Mother of God, since we confess, along with all true Christians, that our Lord Jesus Christ is fully God and fully man. This does not mean, of course, that Mary is eternal, or a goddess, or that she has somehow created or produced God, which would be an exceedingly gross heresy. Mary was and is a created human being and is only the mother of God because she gave birth to the only human who was also fully God. We also believe, of course, that Mary was a virgin when she gave birth to Christ, as it was written in Scripture. Lutherans differ, though, on whether she remained a virgin after the birth of Christ, but it has been the majority opinion historically amongst Lutherans that she did indeed remain a virgin. Lutherans also believe that Mary is not to be prayed to because it is not promised in Holy Scripture that the saints who are absent from their bodies, awaiting the resurrection, and are present with our Lord in heaven, can hear our invocations. Roman Catholic, represented by Sarah Levesque. Most Roman Catholics have a special place in their hearts for Mary. We believe that she is the mother of God, and as such, in the Israelite tradition, she is the queen of heaven. For the queens of Israel were the king's mothers rather than their wives. We also believe that Mary was conceived without sin as a gift from her timeless son, that she was perpetually a virgin, and that she was assumed into heaven body and soul to take her place as queen. From the cross, Jesus gave her not only to John, but to the whole church, and we revere her as our mother, and we ask her to intercede for us using the words of Gabriel, Elizabeth, and Mary herself. For God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. See Mark twelve twenty seven, And as the Apostle James indicated, we are to pray for one another. See James five sixteen, And who better to pray for us than Jesus' mother herself, whose pleas Jesus is obligated to hear by the commandments. I've written a good deal on Mary and expect to write much more. So check out my work if you want to learn more about what Catholics think about her and why.